few Martin sets, not too far from the cabin. Just set them yesterday. Um, but I cut some fresh bear tracks right by the cabin. So I got on it, and uh, that's what I'm doing here. This ain't too far from the quad. But there he is. And he's, uh, I've jumped him because his tracks are running right on the road here. So I'm going after him to see if we can't uh, catch up to him before he smashes the cabin up or gets into my cooler. And then also, right here, there's Fisher set, the tracks. Well, just about 100 yards, 80 yards back here along the trail, I got a set, so we'll go check it out. Just a little bit of an update on that bear. I took after him, I run him for about three hours, I tracked him, and uh, <laughs> never caught up to him. I think he's in the next county right now, but uh, there's always next year. Yeah, the same as that fisher, I never never caught it, but uh, the season has just begun, so. We're going to uh, just enjoy it. The dog is enjoying it here. And it's uh, nice to have them. Have, have some company up here. So, we're going to stay in touch. Okay, what I did, I took Vaseline. I put it in hot water. I'll leave it simmer overnight. And then uh, I've got a bunch of skunk juice. I'll we'll add to it tomorrow, I'll uh, get a video of that, and uh, that's my bait. Well there, now we're going to mix up this uh, skunk juice. I got it all ready, and uh, it's been sitting on the heater for a while. And, and uh, I got it in two jars here. Man, it's still, what the heck, I can't get her open here. There are two sealed jars, and you can still smell it. Whew. Yeah, ah, oh boy. Oh boy. She's a gutter. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. there we'll put a little drop in there. Well, I got it on the wood, so I better take that wood inside. <laughs> uh, one thing about it, it's just me. Ho, 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 right from the skunk's butt. Yeah, she's ripe. Yeah, I got this Vaseline good and hot. Uh, I should have, earlier I added a little bit of glycerin to each one. I didn't show you that, uh, it, just to keep it thawed. So she don't freeze good on us, you know. So we'll just top it off now. A little much. Oh, good thing I ain't sloppy, <laughs> but there, you know, I got uh, a jar like this will last me, this, these two are doing me for the season, so I'll just uh, seal them up here now, to give it a little shake before she dries up, hardens. And there, we got our Fisher Martin bait. But the yard is going to smell good for a while. <laughs> About halfway out, there's a big beaver pond in here. And I got across this, so I come out and uh, got some planks and stuff. I made a little bit of a bridge here. Because when I come in with the tub trailer loaded, I got no way to get across this. And uh, unless I cut all through that timber there, that's a big ways, uh, long ways around and, and big stuff. So the trail is right there, just straight across, but I can't. And what I did is, there is an old trail, but a mean hill in there, and I cannot pull it. It's a tough time just making her when you're empty. So, yeah, hopefully it works and uh, till the first side-by-side -side comes through and I'll be repairing it again. We'll put some tire chains on and... Uh, well, I gotta get it up, it just makes it easier. So I put a winch to a tree here. There, see, you now I can put my chains on. It makes it much, much easier.
And it don't take long once you get them done, get them started where you can turn your wheel. When you've got to put them on, which I have, just laying flat and you've got to keep adjusting. It, it throws it uh, out of whack here. It, uh, there. And we even got the right chain on the right spot, eh? Might be able to get her one more. We'll see what this leads to. Try this one back. Well, I think we're good for now. Might have to tighten a little later on. Well, the weather is turning for the better. She's minus 13. But two o'clock this morning, there's a little bit of action around here. The dog was barking, barking. So I got up, I let him out. I thought maybe a moose in the yard, but not. I started checking out in the daylight here. He crawled in my tub trailer where I had three frozen beaver here. Yeah, that's all that's left. Started looking around and there's tracks all over. He's crawled right up in there, as you can see right here. It ends up, it's a cougar. So I had my dog inside, he wasn't on a chain, which was a good thing. So I started tracking and looking. Been back and forth, back and forth here. But as I was uh, snooping around, and my dog put the run on him the second time at five o'clock when he came back. And there it is. There's my beaver. He dropped it. So I expect them back. And we got no season here. So uh, I can't shoot him if I do see him. So I just got to put up with him. And hopefully he don't eat my dog. Last year I was dragging uh, my trails here. And I busted my trail groomer. So what I did, I come out, flipped it over. It's about halfway out. About 10 clicks, 8 clicks, somewhere in there. I busted this cross frame. I got another plank here I'm putting in. Do the front end and put my cable back and let's hope she works. Uh, get me through this year. Got a buddy, he's gonna make me one out of tubing, so square tubing, so I ain't gonna bust that one. <laughs>